The world wants to know, and we want to know, Xi Jinping meets Joseph Biden. What's at stake? Actually, they met already. Uh, I think that uh, the main purpose of uh, the meeting was to ease tensions. Uh, the desire was manifested uh, both by the Americans and the Chinese. Hmm. And judging by uh, the interview of uh, the statement uh, of Joe Biden and what is has transpired into the press, uh, that's actually what was achieved. Achieved? Yeah. And so what's next? Uh, I don't know. I think that uh, the uh, expectations of the me right. from the meeting were, right. uh, I would say, minimalist. Uh, that's uh, actually, the results were also minimal, but uh, the results were as they were expected. Right, right. Uh, uh, concerning the uh, uh, re-establishment of the context between the military, that mm. was very important. Um, the, uh, I think the creation of the work group on uh, uh, countering uh, the trafficking of drugs uh, from uh, mostly from China, precursor of uh, uh, the for the production of uh, uh, fentanyl uh, and uh, um, amphetamine and, and other right. drugs. Uh, and the third, they decided to. Um, start again working on the climate change. That basically uh, what uh, we heard and what was more or less expected. Well, I mean, it's, it's not funny, but it's strange to hear issues like climate, climate change when the political climate is cracking down all over the, the planet and people are talking about the climate change. But what, okay, Joe Biden and Xi Jinping met and the results are good for Ukraine? Well, I don't, uh, well, Ukraine was, uh, frankly speaking, it was not even mentioned uh, uh, neither during uh, the uh, press conference or press point right. of Biden nor in uh, the news. Okay. Uh, it was mentioned before that might be they would uh, um, evoke, uh, uh, meaning discuss briefly the situation in Ukraine and in uh, uh, on the Middle East. Uh, it's not clear whether it was the case. I presume they did discuss it briefly, but I don't think that it was a major issue, Ukraine or the Middle East, for sure. the meeting of Biden and Xi Jinping. But, but anyway, what, what does it mean for Ukraine if if the re, if the tension is released? Is it is good for Ukraine, or is it? I mean, uh, actu actually, I don't think that uh, we might have expected even right. uh, some positive moment uh, because I stick uh, to my uh, um, belief that uh, for the time being, uh, China is definitely acting as an ally of Russia. Of Russia. It is interested in. Uh, Mm, um, in uh, maintaining this relationship with uh, Russia. Mm. It's interested in uh, getting um, uh, cheap uh, uh, natural resources, uh, first of all, energy resources. Right. It's interested in, uh, uh, I would say, distracting American attention from the situation in Asian Pacific region uh, as uh, it is now uh, paying a lot of attention to the situation in Ukraine now uh, at the Middle East. Uh, plus, uh, you add to that uh, the ideological affinity right. as far as we are speaking about uh, dictatorships. And uh, uh, all put together uh, explains why it's, uh, I think it's an unrealistic to expect that uh, uh, China would be even a uh, honest broker right. uh, in the war, uh, they would uh, definitely act as an ally uh, of Russia as long as it suits uh, um, Chinese and, interests. And Chinese interests are cheap everything from Russia, cheap oil, yeah, cheap... as much as possible, use right. uh, Russia in its confrontation with the West and use Russia uh, on the diplomatic stage, use Russia for achieving the interests uh, um, uh, the interests of China, of China to right. accomplish uh, the uh, uh, the action in the interest of China. So, and um, more or less clear what China wants from the United States. Did you, did you strike attention, as you say? What does the United States want from the People's Republic of China? Actually, at this stage, uh, as I uh, put it before, 
it's in the interest of the United States as well as of China to ease the tensions. And I think that the main motivation for Biden was exactly uh, his involvement, engagement, his and uh, that of uh, the United States in uh, the war uh, between uh, Ukraine and Russia, so uh, countering Russian aggression, and also now the crisis at the Middle East. And definitely, uh, it's, they find it, even in the United States, extremely difficult to act at all uh, fronts. Right. As far as China is concerned, I think that the main motivation was uh, the uh, fact that economic situation in China has worsened. It's uh, weaker than it was before and still reeling off the aftermath of uh, the COVID-19 right, uh, right. epidemics. Uh, plus, uh, Chinese leaders understand how difficult, uh, how um, dangerous a situation mm. in uh, near Taiwan and uh, in the China uh, Sea. Uh, so uh, I don't think that they uh, feel really prepared for open right. confrontation. So that's why they're also interested uh, in easing the tension. Plus, they do understand that they need economic cooperation, investment from the United States sure. and from the rest of the world.